Hey guys, welcome back to the Dow Bar Adventure. Today I'm going to be telling you five reasons why you should go on a cruise right now. Not tomorrow, today. Let's go. All right, so my number one uh, reason for going on a cruise right now is the price. I am telling you, if you want the most value for your money, a cruise is where it's at. Especially if you live in Florida or one of the, um, you know, somewhere close to a port, it is going to save you so much money to go on a cruise rather than have to pay, pay for plane tickets, hotel, transport. I'm telling you, price is where it's at. We just booked a seven day cruise and it's less than $100 per person per day. And your food's included, you can get water, snacks, whenever you want, free um, entertainment. But we'll get into that in a little bit. So number one is price. You get the most value, absolutely. Um, you know, it's kind of starting low tier would be Carnival, and then you have Royal, Disney, um, and it's good for all age groups, so do it. The next one is for the families. If you are looking for vacation and uh, you have little kiddos with you, I would highly recommend cruising, not only because they have splash pads, they have um, slides and different things, different entertainment for kids, but they also have a kids club where kids can go hang out with other kids in their age group and have so much fun while you enjoy a little adult alone time. Uh, away from the kiddos and you get to refresh. They're having so much fun with their friends and it's a great time, especially for families. I would highly, highly, highly recommend looking into the kids club. It is free, um, mostly for uh, baby, I think. I think they have to be two or three to get into the kids club, but once that happens, boy, I am telling you, it is definitely worth it, so check it out. At nighttime, we would drop Emma off, um, usually after dinner and pick her up after we were done with our show or if we went to the casino for a little bit and then that way she had energy out, she was ready for bed. So number three is the food. The food on board is phenomenal. I've been on Norwegian, Carnival, Royal, and not once was I disappointed in food choices or food amount. Um, you know, obviously some plates weren't my fancy, but overall, you could not ask for better food for included in the price of your cruise. You get to eat breakfast, buffet, they also have main dining, lunch, they have on different boats, they'll have like um, Tex-Mex where they have little Mexican restaurants where you can eat in the buffet. And then dinner, you can either do a sit down fancy dinner with like nice dresses and suits, or you can go to the buffet. I think there are amazing choices that you don't have to pay for on cruise boats. And I would highly recommend um, trying the different choices. And you can also pay a little bit extra for fine dining, such as steakhouses, and they have different choices on different cruise lines. Um, but the food is phenomenal and it is included. Have you ever booked a vacation somewhere and you get there and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, what do we do now? Where do we go? The locals kind of give you hints, but you're not really sure where to go. I'm telling you on cruise lines, they will give you excursions that take you to the best places um, wherever you're um, going to. So these are called excursions. That is my number or the excursions on cruise boats are phenomenal. They are picked by the cruise lines because they are so perfect. They give you a little taste of the culture. They take you where you want to go, whether it's snorkeling, beach walking. If you want a taste of the Bahamas, they will take you there. And it is um, by the cruise lines, so they won't, you won't get left in the port. They'll always bring you back and it's reputable and it's safe. So 
going to these different countries, if you're not sure where to go, I think going on a cruise and taking an excursion to see where you wanna go first might be a great option for some people. All right, number five. Okay, so this is based on availability of cruising. So cruising is, since the pandemic, all year round. Before the pandemic, all year round. There is never a time where people aren't cruising. They may go to different ports or go to different countries, but they're never stopped. So I think the availability, you can always get on a cruise boat and they have itineraries that are gonna work for you and your family. And I really highly recommend looking into different cruise lines because they do have different ports and when they're in season, when they're out of season, but basically you can find a cruise any time of the year, even in the United States. So in winter, when it's negative 20 degrees in Minnesota, if you wanna go out of a cruise in Miami, you can. So another reason why I would highly recommend cruising. All right, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Show them the thumbs up, show them, show them, show them. And don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Yeah, down there. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah.